In this arc map demonstration, we're going to show how to modify features in a layer. So to do that, we're going to use the junk polygon layer here. So I'm going to right mouse click on it and go to edit features and start editing. I'm just thinking ignore the warnings. And now I'm going to select the junk template, junk polygon template. So I now have my tools available to me. Available to me. But we're going to do some modifications here. So to begin with, I'm going to show you how to modify just the vertices within a feature. So I'm going to go to my selection tool here. I'm going to select the polygon in which I want to make changes to. Once it's selected, I'm now going to come up here and click this button, Edit Vertices. And now all my vertices are visible. And I now have this toolbar here, Edit Vertices. I could come over here and click on one of these vertices and then with my mouse move it. I could also right mouse click on that vertice and choose to delete it, move it, move to. If I chose move to, I'd, I'd be able to type in an actual X and Y coordinate to move it to. Uh, but right now, I'm not going to use any of those. So we'll just click away here. Well, now I lost my... I still had the selection tool there, so I better select that polygon again and back up to edit vertices. So now I can, I can choose this add vertex and instead of right mouse clicking on the line and adding a vertex, I'll just click a number of places here where I want to add them. Once I add them, I can click on them and move them. And they'll move for me. I can also go to delete vertices. And I can come in here and delete any of these that I click on. I can also come over here and open the sketch properties, which then open this window here. And I could come in here and Let's go back to choosing vertices. So if I choose it here, you'll see that it's now checked off here. That's vertices number 245. I could also come in here and click on one here. You can see it's now selected here. And so I could select a number of vertices in this way, or I could select them uh, off the map here. Oops, I lost them. Can I come in here? I should be able to hover over them. Well, I guess I lose my selections when I'm using the tool there. I could probably hold, let's try the shift key. Okay, if I hold the shift key down, I can select more than one. And they end up being selected here. And then I can come over here and click on some of these. And they become selected on the map. Then I can come up here and choose to delete those, and they're gone. Okay, I'm going to close this Edit Sketch Properties window. And just want to show you too, for adding, I can come to any place in the line here, right mouse click and go Insert Vertex, and it'll add one. Okay, I'll go down and just... Um, get rid of that selection and select this polygon here. Okay, now I have it selected. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hold the mouse key down and I'm going to drag this and you'll see I can actually move that polygon. But I'm going to just choose the undo here and put it back where it was. So I can move it. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how I can delete that polygon. So it's still selected. I'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard and now it's gone. Again, I'll undo that because I want it back there. And the next thing I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to select that polygon again. And I'm going to hold my shift key down and select the other polygon. And now they're both selected. I'm going to come up here and choose to merge. 
it asks me which feature I want to merge everything into. I'm going to just take the top one, click OK. And now it's all merged into one polygon. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to split it. I'm going to come up here and select this split polygon tool. And I'm going to click to draw the first part of a line and then I'll come across that polygon and I'll double click to draw a line across it and it splits it that polygon into two polygons on that line and now I'm just gonna I can undo it with a merge or I could just do click the undo button and it's back the way it was so now if I want to come in here and finish the burn uh, when I did create this polygon before, I stopped before I actually got to this lake here. So if I wanted to continue on and make these one, what I could do is I'm going to go down here to Auto Complete Polygon. I'm going to come here and choose to snap to that vertex. And then I'm going to, I guess, zoom in here a bit. And now that I'm zoomed in, I'll go back to that autocomplete. And I'm going to draw some more line segments here. And then I want to snap to the tramping lake. Uh, not necessarily a vertex. Let's take off the uh, vertex snapping and just leave, leave on edge. And I'll snap to the edge there. And then I'm going to go use the trace tool. And for the trace tool, I need to select the polygon I'm going to trace, which is going to be this one here. And let's go back to autocomplete and make sure I have the trace tool. Come over here get on that edge and I now begin tracing again for demonstration purposes I'm not going to finish this entire going around the entire fire we'll come up to go around this one little point here and I'll click here and then I'll go back to the line tool and then I'm going to zoom out to my previous extent and then we'll connect to uh, the edge. Well, actually, I want the vertex. So I'm going to take the vertex off, turn vertex on, and turn edge off. And I'll come over here to the vertex. I'll double click. And because I was an auto complete polygon, it's going to finish things off along that shared edge. Now, if I had gone around the entire burn, now I could add, merge the two polygons into one again. So I'll use my select tool here and I'll select one polygon. I'll hold the shift key down and select the other one. And then I'll choose to merge them. So that's one way if you didn't have time to finish the well, if you didn't have time to finish the polygon of the fire first time around, you could go and continue and finish it off in this fashion. So that's all I wanted to show you in regards to uh, editing features.